Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back from the OPTC video, and in today's video, we're diving into some 15 star Super Boss Kazuna against Do Flamingo. We're going to test out those teams that I put together in the showcase video for you guys and sort of see how they actually perform. If you guys didn't check that out, we did a bit of a team building. Link in the description below. We have some had some information where you can actually use Super Ten of Shanks. My boy, he stays winning. Let's freaking go. So, this particular Super Boss isn't a super type, which means you can actually use Shanks for two of the stages, because one of them has full immunity. So, running the quick team is actually viable for Int and Psy. Um, it's up to you guys if you want to do that. In today's video, I'm not going to. I'm just going to showcase the teams that I did put forward in that prep video. But if you enjoyed this kind of stuff, felt the like button. If you're new to the channel, hit the big subscribe button. Don't stress, assist teams will be coming soon for those higher damage numbers, as well as the Marco teams. But at the moment, you guys are probably just using anything to assist. Hopefully, you guys are getting up the uh, 1.3 times boost for your Alliance members. But with that said, let's dive in and let's take a look at the teams that we did build in the team building video. All right, so the first variation is against the Int variation. And when we sort of wrapped up the video, we did I did recognize that you copped the 99% HP cut. So that way, you can use something like Odin. So that's the team. Those are the supports. Let's dive on in. So we are using Yamato as our friend captain. Yamato is just an amazing unit because not only is she a striker... But she's actually a uh, super type unit. Now, if you guys don't have Nami yourself, you probably want to bring a friend captain Nami. And then utilize something like uh, Snake Man. The film red Snake Man will work very, very nicely here. But as you guys will see here, we get all of our cooldowns, which works excellently. And then we can actually basically just, just kill the turtles on turn one. We are using the Nostra Castello V2 for this particular team. Um, so that is actually going to work in our favor because we cop 99% HP if we don't take out stage 2. Literally on stage 2, we're just going to... There we go. We're just going to tap. If you don't kill stage 2, you actually get a 90, like I said, a 99% HP cut. And then the uh, enemy will just run away. If you kill there, you get a 1.75 times rainbow color affinity boost. So just be mindful of that and be very, very careful when you actually are utilizing your uh your, your specials because uh or sorry if you are doing damage and what your team comp looks like on the final stage you get one turn of despair you can easily get rid of that and dofi's immune to everything except for additional damage and that's a big reason why we have yamato as our friend captain as we are at very low hp we can actually use our odin special odin's going to give us a 95 percent uh damage reduction plus he gives us the plus buff as well as color affinity to our free spirit characters once we've done that we can start popping the rest of our buffs we can use our yamato special here yamato is going to give us an attack buff and then wano orbs and tandem orbs with queen we get the resistance then we can get a guaranteed conditional buff with robin then we can also use our uh, nami special nami is going to give us base stats and a chain boost now, with this particular run, as you guys are about to see, I didn't actually stall on the first turn. Um, you can get an extra 0.1 here, and you can get an extra... Where's the base stat boost? Um, you can get an extra, what, 250 base stats, most likely there. Um, so you can easily just get more damage to this particular team. You get a guaranteed conditional boost with Nami here as well. That way you can activate her super class, which means strikers are going to hit a lot harder. We can then use our Yamato special. She's going to give us the... 1.75 times extra damage and then you can use her special for that extra uh, little bit of cheeky uh, chain coefficient uh, shenanigans then we can use law law is going to be our orb booster as well as our chain boundary unit and with that we pretty much have everything we need to actually take this particular stage down so we're going to start with oh you can use the versatility too it just means tandem orbs are going to be a little bit stronger mainly for nami that's basically why we want it so then we're going to start tapping you got to be careful because the Nostra Castella doesn't make it easy to hit perfects. So there you guys go. That was 64 billion damage. Is that 64 billion? Damn, that's a lot of damage. Like, I mean, I know Nami's boosted and Super Tandem uh, Luffy was on him there. But like, was that 64 billion? Damn, son. Like you guys saw there, there was no super type. So we were doing a lot more damage having a super type unit ourselves. And like I said, you actually can use Shanks there. So that's definitely an option. Damn. Moving on to verse quick now. And this is the team that I honestly don't think that you're going to get more damage for. However, 
there is a chance that utilizing V2 Straw Hats as your friend captain and then bringing Luffy onto the team either over Whitebeard or over Zoro might be the way to go. So if you're missing either Whitebeard or Zoro and you have Luffy, you could easily use Luffy and then bring a Straw Hat crew V2 captain. But look, I'm going to test this team because this is the team I stated in the video. So let's dive in. Now, if you guys have Queen, you don't need the Karasu support. I just totally recognized it in this moment. And I, I don't want to. I don't want to reload this. I'm not wasting super boss tokens. But if you don't have Queen, you can easily just use that Karasu. Like it's gonna work absolutely hunky dory. Quick decks and in characters get their cooldowns. And on this particular stage, you don't need to stall at all because Nami is gonna get 99 turns of cooldown. Uh, killing stage uh, two for this particular fight is going to allow us to get a two times uh, color affinity boost. This our team is actually missing a color affinity boost, which means that, uh, as you guys can see, you can easily kill. It's only 1.5 million HP. Um, our team's actually missing a color affinity boost, so killing on stage 2 means that we actually gain the 99 turns of cooldown for our Nami, because we have a super tandem level 5 Nami, and we get the 2 times color affinity. If you guys don't have Nami, you can easily flip your captains, and then take off either Zoro or Whitebeard, whoever you don't have, and then you can actually replace with Koala and just pass the turn there. That way you'll get Paralysis, Nami will get Charges, and Koala will be your Color Affinity Booster. On this final stage, we do have to do some stuff before we uh, like go too crazy. So we are going to use Yamato here. Yamato is going to give us an Attack Boost, as well as give us one Assault on our left-hand side. As you guys saw, Hiyori gave us one for uh, Zoro. Then we can use Zoro to get all of the chain shenanigans, which works very, very nicely. We can then use Whitebeard for our chain boundary. He's also a very easy 150 unit and is actually boosted in this particular super boss. Once we use Robin, we get a conditional boost to defense down. With uh, Nami, we're going to get the monstrous base stats and chain boost, as well as a guaranteed conditional boost with our super class, which works very, very nicely. Then... We can use our Luffy special for our orb boost. And then we can use his super class to not only make free spirit characters stronger, but we can also get um, a stronger orb boost. Finally, we're going to wrap it up with our verse ability of Yamato. That's going to give us a damage reduction buff. And then we also have tandem orbs hitting a lot harder. As you guys will see with um, the chain... Not that one. There's so many buffs here. With the chain boost, we can't even see it because like Luffy's in the way. Let me see if I can find the base stats. Base stats is maxed at 3,000 and the chain boost should be at 2.5. We are going to start the chain with Robin and then we can hit with, um, I guess, is Luffy have more attack? 7,700. That is so much attack. Holy crap. What is Whitebeard at? 9,000. God. Does Whitebeard have more attack? My days. Whitebeard has... Wait. 2-2... I think Yamato has more attack. I, I think Yamato has more attack. So so we'll, we'll dive in. Uh, we can hit perfects a little bit easier here, which is nice. But, like, Zoro is just going to go absolutely ballistic. Oh, no. Okay. Interesting. So, 98 billion before we hit with Whitebeard. And I actually stuff, stuffed my taps out up. Uh, ideally, we'd want to hit with Whitebeard before uh, Yamato. That way, we can do a little bit more damage there. But that should be cracking 150 billion. Like, I, I don't see that having any problems hitting that 150 billion mark. And like I said, if you use Straw Hat Crew V2 as your friend captain, you can get the final tap. And that might be a little bit more damage than either Zora or Whitebeard. But honestly, I do believe that that's going to be the best team that you can possibly build. On to the final variation. All right, so the final variation is actually the Psy variation. And this one was a little bit janky. But what I came up with looks like this. So we are going to dive in. That is the team. Those are the supports. Let's go and do it. Now, utilizing a Kaido friend captain, I don't know, is going to be going to be the best option. Maybe using something like um, Yamato is going to be better. The V1 Yamato to get the uh, super type. That could be a little bit nicer. Plus, then you will have a, fin a better final tap. However, Kaido is getting double boosted here. And I do believe that Kaido is going to be doing a lot of damage. I God, I hope I put the Orochi support on. I really hope I put Orochi support on. I did. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. On this particular stage, um, we can actually stall because um, we do actually want to kill on stage two. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to pass a few turns here. Passing the turns is going to charge Nami just a little bit. Like, that's just a little bit. Like, that's... 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 
the aim of the game when it comes to a character that can charge past her um her max special charge so we are going to take out the turtles over time and then we can actually kill on stage two that's going to give at least four charges to our girl nami and it's actually going to work out very nicely we actually got a one orb on nami as well why don't we actually tap with you guys and that way we can um we can do our best to try and get some extra wano orbs because kaido actually makes um recovery orbs into wano but then i realized that i just tapped with the wrong side so it doesn't really matter anyway we didn't get any so it doesn't matter but on the final stage against third flamingo we get one turn of attack down um and if you kill on stage two you are going to get um the uh nine turns of a 2.75 times attack boost which really doesn't matter now what we're going to do here is we're going to use sanji to get the um what's it called the chain coefficient reduction uh chain coefficient and then we can actually utilize our heat and wire now heat and wire are only here to activate the kids support so they actually get more base stats then we can actually activate our kaido very important that it's our kaido because our kaido has the uh orochi support now orochi is going to give driven characters a oh, i didn't i didn't put the orochi support i put the queen support i put the queen support it's meant to be the orochi support this team is not going to do nearly as much damage as i was hoping it would Damn, that is very, very annoying. But nevertheless, it's not that big of a deal. It's meant to be the Orochi support. Orochi was meant to be the support there. That way, you get a 1.75 times color affinity boost. Uh, but with Nami, you get all of that extra shenanigans. She also has the Brook support to get around the attack down. That's going to work quite nicely. I just knew it. As soon as I went in, I, I just knew that I had the wrong support on. Uh, but then we get the extra conditional. And then we can um, activate the verse ability of Kaido. Now... With the support of Chopper, you guys might have seen that support of Chopper. I don't think this stacks, but like, what are the chances? Nah, it doesn't. Um, with the um, the Chopper support, as you guys probably saw there, we dropped our HP below 30%. So now the um, Nostra Cast LV2 is actually in play. What we're going to do here is um, we're going to tap with our Sanji, Robin, and then Nami. You might wonder why Heat and Wire is on the left. Well, they actually need a Tandem Orb. That way they can actually get their Sailor ability to get some more resistance. So let's kick it. Now, we are going to use the final tap level 5 Kaido. With the extra resistance there, hopefully. I don't think we're going to get the kill here because I stuffed up with Orochi. Yeah, just not just not enough damage. Not a lot of damage at all. With Orochi, it would have been a lot more because then we would have had a color affinity buff. But like I said, I feel like if we bring a Yamato as our friend captain, we can do more damage there. However, as I mentioned at the start of my team building video, it was a little bit interesting that there was some quick resistance. So utilizing my boy, Super Tandem Shanks, is actually viable because none of these super bosses have super types. So we can actually take the quick team into the fight. Now against quick, there is full immunity. So utilizing Shanks doesn't work, but against Int and Psy, you definitely can. And especially against Int, I do believe that Shanks is going to be the best option over the teams that you just saw. Even if you fix it with Orochi and you bring Yamato, I do believe that Shanks is still going to do more. On turn one, we are going to activate our Uta. That is going to allow us to get an attack and an orb boost for this particular team. Then we can basically just mosey our way through here. We can say bing, bang, boom. Thank you very much. See you later. And then on turn two, we can easily take uh, this stage out again because we have an attack boost against Treble. We don't have to worry about that 2.75 times attack boost. It, it doesn't actually matter because we have Uta's amazingness. On the final stage against Doflamingo, um, he has a 10% resistance for everyone, which is whatever, because um, we are going to be able to get around pretty much all of that. To start it off with, we are going to use Ben Beckman and Lucky Rue. They're going to give us an increase to our orb boost and give us chain boundary. They also have the Shank support. That's going to give them a little bit of extra stats. Robin's going to be a conditional booster. Very, very nice. Uh, super hunky dory there with the luffy support we can actually get um the the base stats as well so double base stats character kaido with um queen is going to not only give us a full border orbs but kaido is going to give us the double damage and then reduce the resistance or bring it back to an, a stable level super switching with um sop sop and then using the sop sop special is going to give us a guaranteed conditional boost it's going to give us base stats it's going to remove the attack down with brook and then we can also get more resistance. Then we have Shanks and his Chain Boost as well as his um, Color Affinity Boost. And then he has the Super Type 
to turn Dofi into a strength character, which is just absolutely bonkers. They said it couldn't be done. A super boss was always going to be super type stomp, and you will never be able to use Shanks against other colors. And look, here we are. Finally, we can wrap it up with Uta. Uta is actually going to give us um, the extra attack buff with her special, and then she also has the final tap. We are going to start it off over here with um, Kaido, and then we're going to go Sop Sop into Shanks. Um, Kaido, like I said, he's kind of not really getting too buffed here, but he's really just there for the double damage. Once we do that, as you guys will see, we're going to hit fairly hard. We're already sitting upwards of 3.7 billion before we hit with Robin and before we hit with Uta. Remember, Uta and Robin are both two times stats, and Uta has that crazy final tap if you have her rainbow. But that's going to wrap up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to go down there and build the like button for me. If you're new to the channel and you haven't done so already, hit that big red subscribe button. Most importantly, best of luck in the Super Boss. Enjoy the rest of your day wherever you are in this beautiful world. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.